In this tutorial we're going to look at how to create a video file that Pro Tools 11 will like and that we can use in the studio and in the labs. Um, now for a lot of the ADR work, Foley work, soundtrack to picture, audio for computer games, stuff that you'll do uh, with us, you'll end up replacing the existing audio from a clip that you found either through the internet or managed to download or, or somehow uh, have managed to grapple with. Quite often these are sourced from a kind of highly compressed sort of streaming service, uh, YouTube, things like that and they end up with the, the H.264 codec. Um, now that is actually a, a codec that, that even with our powerful computers both in the labs and in the studios, codec uh, Pro Tools really has a, a bit of problems with. So what we're going to do is we're going to change it to Pro Tools preferred format which is a DNxHD codec um, which can work very very nicely and it's kind of high quality version of, of the codec that will, will play and look really good on the screen uh, in the live room of Studio 4 for example or the um, video window with inside Pro Tools. So the first thing we're going to do, we can kind of see that this, this Tyrion uh, clip that I've got here is, is in the H.264 and I should mention that even though we've got an MP4 or a .mov, that is just the shell. What is actually underneath and held inside that shell is it can be a, a whole different array of codecs and dimensions and, and kind of technical specifications underneath. So we, we, even though we've got it in a .mov or a .mp4 format, doesn't mean that we it will um, it won't need kind of changing for for Pro Tools. Uh, so we're just going to grab our media from Finder, grab our little film clip and drag and drop it into Premiere Pro. Once it's in that media area we can just do the same, drag and drop it into the timeline, the edit window and we'll go File, Export Media or Command M and we'll change it from what it's normally, it's kind of default QuickTime HD setting and we'll change it to, to that, that Pro Tools version. So we're going to change it to, uh, for the format here, we're going to click on, on that and go to DNX HD and again we're going to choose a preset and we're just going to choose the first 1080p one so the DNX 45 1080p 29.97 frames per second we'll choose that click on it there once we've chosen that preset we can title the file to say where we want it to be uh, saved to and I'm just going to call this Tyrion Meets Shagger PT11 codec and that's going to save to the desktop and now I'm just going to hit export and then after a couple of minutes it will render out the file into that new version for us and we can just import that directly into Pro Tools and use that as the starting block for our Pro Tools session.